Tuesday, I upload four times a week. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. Today, I have a subscriber request. Actually, someone saw this wig on one of my wig heads back behind here and requested it. So, you can do that if you want to point out one of the wig heads and ask me to review them. This is from the R&B company, and it's called Rumen. It's a rumen hair wig, so it's not human, it's rumen. I guess that means it's like a replica. It says it's three times the volume, quick to style, easy to manage, looking, natural looking scalp, no irritation. Uh, her name is Tina, and I have her in the color 2727. So that is part of the issue, first of all. Okay. The things that, I don't hate this wig, but I do have some critiques. One is when I saw this, and this is my own bad, but this says D227, so it has a dark root, and mine is 2727, so the root is 27, but then it gets down to, like, all of this, like, number 30 in the dark, so I don't understand their color. I don't understand their color, because technically 2727 would mean it's just a full 27. Whatever. The texture is really nice. It's not terribly yakky. It's not terribly textured, but it's also not super duper silky. Like there is a silkiness to it. I would more say it's like like a natural curly hair. If you have sort of non-textured hair and then you were curling your hair and then sort of sprayed it, you know, it has that sort of beachy, dirty feel to it. <sighs> wig cap is comfortable. As far as no irritation, if you have any scalp issues, do not get this wig. The lace on this chick is hard and it is itchy and I'm not even that sensitive because you can see where I have like legit burnt myself a jillion times. The other thing is is that this chick needs dark roots. It just does. It would blend better. I was going to go in and do dark roots but um, I know that I won't keep her so I don't want to... I don't want to manipulate her anymore. The other thing is, is like, yes, it has sort of this free parting, which is nice. Like you can part it any way you want, but the free parting only goes back about two inches. So it makes it so look, it, there's this like heaviness. It wants to push all of this forward because of that. Now you can work the heat. Um, you could get this worked back and sprayed back. I can't stand anything like this in my face. It, you know, so it's a preference thing. I just feel like I wish the parting space would have been a little bit different. I almost wish it was just a regular lace front um, because of this free parting. See, now you have this stuff flopping all over the place and it's like coming forward where you'd want to almost train it to go back. She's probably going to snag a little bit. This chick wants to shed. I'm five foot six and a half, so she's going to be in the 18, 20, 18 ish range on me. I do love the color. The color is super pretty. Because the parting space only goes back that far, then you have these weird filler fibers. Just for me, it's just not my jam. You'd have to do sort of like, it's, I don't have the combs in the front. You, yeah, you, to make it look cute, I'd have to do this sort of flip over situation. And then that's like a whole thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't hate it. I, I feel like this is a lot right in front. Maybe like clip it back or something. Let's look at her from the back. I just think she's super heavy in the front. I mean, she's the color is stunning. Movement is nice. I feel like if you could, you know, work the front area to your liking, this would not be a bad wig. I scooped this wig up from Glamour Trust for $18. And she also did come with like this wig tape stuff. I don't actually think she needs taped down, but that, you know, that's a nice little bonus. After these final thoughts here, you'll see what I did to get her together. Yeah, I'm on the fence. Uh, if you like the style, if you don't mind like hair in your face or you know, sort of working with that front parting. I think the color is great and the texture is nice and she is a very full wig. Um, so if that's cool with you, I would say this is a wig, you know, that you would probably like. If you don't really like a lot of heaviness in the front of wigs, then, or if you have a very sensitive scalp, this, this one isn't the one for you. That's my review. If you have another R&B collection wig, I don't know if it's called R&B collection, but R&B wig that you would like me to review, please put that down below. If you have this wig or a wig from this line and you have any thoughts, please also put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have, 
Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.